And standing next to me is a fella you may know from such works as Dream Jumper. Yeah, that's what they know that's me for. That's what they know you from. He <laughs> writes comic books, graphic novels and stuff. This yeah. one with Scholastic of all companies. Also, my uh, guest, Greg Grumberg, has had some roles in television. A couple of them. List them for him. Heroes. Uh, Felicity, Felic Alias, uh, Heroes. Lost, he's the pilot. Lost, yeah. That I'm puts the plane on the island. Without him, there's no Lost. Yeah. Imagine if you did your job correctly in that show. <laughs> It ends in the first episode where everybody lands exactly. and goes out with their life. It would have been called Hover if we just went around <laughs> the airport. We're Circling. waiting for clearance. Uh, this gentleman has also been in features galore, including uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, yes. Snap Wexley, yeah. Rebel Pilot, Pilot of the, uh, not Rebels, they call it, The, the Resistance. Resistance. Yeah. And now you're in a movie that comes out another star movie. You're in all the star movies. Yes. You're in Trek a little bit as well. Yeah, Star Trek Beyond was such an honor to be in these movies at all. I would do craft service in these movies. Do you get fitted for those tight ass outfits? <laughs> Is that what they do? They measure you or they just, here's one size fits all? Yeah, they got, I took a potato sack and they took the logo. <laughs> <laughs> the little Starfleet logo right in the corner. Exactly, and it fit me even tight. Like, that was what do you tight think, on Captain me. Finnegan? You're like, I think I should get a better outfit. <laughs> um, so it, it's just so much fun. Plus, this year, we're honoring, um, we had just tragedy in the family, obviously, with uh, Leonard Dumoy and Anton passing away. So it's um, a time, the movie truly honors this incredible franchise. Um, Justin Lin did an amazing job with the movie and the cast. I'm just so lucky to have a small part in it. And Me and Greg are doing a show yeah. for AMC that starts Sunday night right after Preacher. Yeah. There's a Comic-Con, it's called Geekin' Out. The first episode is the Comic-Con special, so it's all about the con. But then the show begins in earnest uh, mid-August, comes after Fear of the Walking Dead. The idea is like just doing a magazine show for people that like this kind of stuff, like Sports Center yeah. for geeks and people that like genre. Let's yeah. talk about the book, man. Yeah. Dream Jumper. You wrote a book for Scholastic, dude. Is like, I've written crazy? comics for DC or Marvel, but to work yeah. for Scholastic, it takes you right back to kindergarten. It's tremendous. Yeah. Tell us about it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Drawn by Lucas Turnblum. Yeah, so the seed of the idea came when my son had a dream, and it was a terrible dream. It, whatever it was, was very visceral and real and he could not get it out of his mind. I was putting him back to bed. I was like, just tell me about it. What was it? And he goes, it wasn't even my dream. I was, I was like a superhero. I was able to jump in and out of my friend's dreams and save them from their worst nightmares. And I was like, don't go to sleep. We're about to pay for college. Yes. I was so excited. I thought, that is a cool idea. If you think That's about, why you have a kid when you're creative, because you're like, give me your ideas. They're right. mine now. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's like work for hire. You got someone in your life, and you have had since you were younger, JJ, yeah. who is also a natural born storyteller. When did you guys meet? So JJ and I met when we were four and a half, five in elementary school, and just clicked uh, in a creative way. He's Man. awesome. I mean, honestly, like, JJ's the best. yeah, he's so such a good guy. So imagine growing up with a kid like that. Yeah, good dude. Good dude, and we're creating stuff, and I'm wa mainly watching him create things. But all of his Super 8 movies, I star in. So he was on Kimmel. We'll bring some on the show on Geeking Out for sure. I just want to thank IMDb for letting me even come on and, and us talk about this and promote stuff. It's really fun. They're going to add it to your IMDb page. I you hope so. IMDb.